Hi, I'm April Morris. Welcome back. I am the founder of the Freedom Jumper blog. You can learn more at freedomjumper.com and it's for entrepreneurs, authors, speakers, and coaches. So welcome. I'm answering all of your questions and we're on question number seven. This question comes from Anne and she asks, how do you drive traffic to your website? It's a great question. So I'm going to share with you the top seven ways to drive traffic to your website right away. Okay, number one is through speaking. The more opportunities that you have to get on stage and in front of an audience, the more opportunity you have, excuse me, to drive traffic to your website. My last speaking engagement, I got done speaking and then I offered, made an offer to the audience at the end of my speech. There were sign-up sheets already placed on their tables and 90% of the room signed up for my email list based on my offer. So that's one way that you can build your list and then drive traffic to your website. Okay, the second way is through YouTube. This is a great way because I've had over 810,000 views on my YouTube channel, which I'm so grateful for. And I appreciate you if you're watching this on YouTube for tuning in and watching my videos. I really appreciate it. So with YouTube, you know, it's really about delivering real value on camera. You know, create videos that are interesting, thought-provoking, that deliver value, that are maybe tutorials or how-to videos. That's the best way to drive traffic to your website because when people get to know you, like you, and trust you through your videos on YouTube, they naturally want to go learn more about you and so they'll go to your website and, and check it out and possibly even opt into your email list so that they can stay more closely connected to you. Okay, so you can also drive traffic to your website through other social media like so LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook. Let me give you an example of that. I write a blog, as you know, Freedom Jumper blog, and each time I write a blog and I post it, I actually go to my Facebook page and also Twitter and I go, hey, I just posted this new blog post about leadership or about marketing, marketing your new product or about how to drive traffic to your website, for example. Um, just thought I'd share it with you in case anyone's interested and then put the link to go to your blog. That's, what, that's definitely a way to, to drive traffic to your website. Okay, here's another way and it's through affiliate partners. This is where you create strategic relationships with other people in your industry or in your niche that have the same target market or ideal client that you have. And you partner with them. And I would say check them out. Make sure you have the same integrity level. Make sure that they truly deliver value. Um, and you know there's a good alignment. And ask them to promote you. And then in return, you pr promote them as well that can help to promote traffic to your website. Okay, number five. Okay, this is a given. TV, radio, magazines, newspaper. So if you land a TV interview, which I've had the privilege of having many TV television interviews, you can get a lot of traffic all at once. Same thing with radio. Um, magazines, newspapers. I've been featured in a lot of newspapers and as well as magazines, which is, you know, such a great you know, honor to be able to be featured there. The way that you do that is, you, again, you deliver real value. You have something interesting to talk about because they report on stories, not on products. So if you've got an interesting story that is in alignment with, you know, what your product does and the news, you might have a higher probability of getting in a TV interview, a radio, magazines, or even newspapers. Okay, number six, win an award. I want to share this quick story with you. The first award I won as an entrepreneur, my product thing loss um, won best innovation of the year in a competition for inventors. This was a pretty big competition and that my product won second place. And I was so excited about this. And that same week that it won, the Indianapolis Star newspaper actually contacted me to do a story on myself and my company along with the other winners. So that was, you know, my company was featured in the newspaper on the home page of the business section. So naturally that drove a lot of traffic to my website because they had my website written in the article. So that's a great way to be able to, you know, get, get in front, having people go to your website pretty quickly. 
Okay, last is ads. Advertising, which some, it, again, it seems pretty common sense, but advertising pay-per-click, like you have, you've probably seen ads on Facebook or on Google that are pay-per-click. Maybe ads in magazines or newspapers. I advise if you're going to try ads, make sure that you get some advice and some help with this unless you already know what you're doing. It can end up being very costly with it very little return unless you really understand how advertising works. You know how to write a good ad campaign. You know how to, to um, utilize that time and the money invested in it to get a return on your investment. Um, and sometimes ads are just used for branding. Yeah. So understand why you're creating the ad and then build a strategy around that. So I hope that you have enjoyed this uh, little training tutorial today. You know, thanks again for tuning in and keep your questions coming in. I can't wait to answer them for you on camera. Thanks again and we'll see you soon.